Revelation chapter 9, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, and he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as a smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit, and there came out of the smoke lo locusts upon the earth. And unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall man seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto the horses prepared unto battle, and on their, on, on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of man. And they had, and they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breast, breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt man five months. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abandon. But in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes, more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Ephrates. And the four angels was loosed which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a, and a year, for it, for it slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses and the vision and them that sat on them. Having breastplates of fire and of Jackson, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire, and by the smoke, and by the brimstone, which issue out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouth, and in their tails. For their tails were like unto serpents, and, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were killed by these plagues, yet repentant, not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornications, nor of their thieves. In this chapter, we have an account of the sounding of the fifth and the sixth trumpets, the appearances that attended them, and the events that were to follow. The fifth trumpet, the sixth, upon the sounding of this, of this trumpet, the things to be observed are a star falling from heaven to the earth. Some think this star represents some eminent bishop in the Christian church, some angel of the church, for in the same way of speaking by which pastors are called stars, the church is called heaven. But who is the who is is do not agree. Some understand it of the third bishop of Rome, who assumed the title of universal bishop by the favor of the emperor, who being a tyrant in the state, allowed Boniface to be so in the church as a reward of his flattery. To this fallen star was given the key of the bottomless pit. Having now ceased to be a minister of Christ, he becomes the Antichrist. 
the minister of the devil, and by the permission of Christ, who had taken from him the keys of the church. He becomes the devil's turnkey to let loose the powers of hell against the churches of Christ. Upon the opening of the boundless pit, there arose a great smoke, which darkened the sun and the air. The devils are the powers of darkness. Hell is the place of darkness. The devil carries on his designs by binding the eyes of man, by extinguishing light and knowledge, and promoting ignorance and error. He first, he first deceives man and then destroys them. Wretched, wretched, wretched souls follow him in the dark, or they does not follow him. 